what's up youtube this is k and welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm working on a 2015 mercedes-benz c250 coupe and um this one has a major oil leak and it's coming from this is a 2.0 turbo it has a 2.0 turbo engine and uh the oil leak is coming from the turbo area but um because of all these accessories and uh, the plastics, the lines and the hoses, you can't really get to see exactly where it's coming from. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take all these things out of my way and I'll find where the oil is coming from and then fix it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, begin with uh, taking the power steering reservoir, the <clears throat> vacuum lines and the coolant lines out of my way, then I can get to the main source of the oil leak. Then I find uh, a way to fix it. All right, so stay with me and let's get it started. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Peace. Okay, so um, I managed to get the, the coolant hose and the vacuum hose out of my way. 
I put it on the side and also the bracket that holds the power steering uh, reservoir I put it also on the side now this is the line that goes on the turbo it's an oil line that goes on the turbo and um, I'm suspecting it the oil is leaking from this line because when you take this line out there is uh, o-ring that goes on uh, on the tip it serves as a gasket or as a seal sometimes the oil rings they get weak and they get very hot or sometimes they even break and when they break it's gonna leak oil because there was oil all over this place that's the part of the engine block there was oil all over that side and I cleaned it up now I used um, some brake cleaner to clean all the oil that was on that side so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put the vacuum hose and the um, and the coolant hose back on and I'm gonna start the car to run so I can monitor this line to see if there will be any oil coming from this line then I know for sure that it's coming from that angle because with all those hoses in my way I couldn't get to see the tip of the line so now that I've got enough space I'm gonna start it and um, check if I'm gonna see any oil leaking all right Okay, so right now I um, I just connected the the coolant hose, not all the way in, because I'm still gonna take it back out, because I don't wanna start the car and there will be any coolant spillage or oil spillage. So I connected the coolant hose and the vacuum hose also. Uh, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and start the car, so I can monitor that line, um, that little line over there. That's the oil line from the turbo to the engine. So I'm gonna start the car so I can monitor that line. If there is any leakage coming from that side. All right, so let's start the car. Okay, so now I've got an engine running. So I'm gonna have it run for a little bit so I can start monitoring the, the line to see if there is any leakage. So just started so it's gonna take a while before the if there is any leakage it will start coming up so let's, let's keep an eye on it wow it looks to me like it's leaking oil can you see that yeah, oil started leaking. Wow. I just want to be double sure, you know? So let me just leave it running for a little more, like two, two more minutes, or three, let's say five more minutes, just to be sure. Yeah, so it's leaking oil from that side. I'm going to clean the oil and um, see what happens. Clean the oil from the top. Now let's see what happens again. Definitely, the line is leaking oil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the engine. Then I'll take the line out. 
to inspect the uh, oven. I believe the oven is weak or it's just um, it's just broken or something. So I'm just gonna go stop the engine and then I can um, I can fix the lid. Okay, so I've got the oil line out and um, this is it. So it has two connections. This side goes to the turbo. It has two washers, one in the front and one on the other side. And um, this side is the one that goes on the engine block. So there is an O-ring on it. All right, this is the O-ring, the black uh, O-ring you see right there. So the O-ring is weak that is why the oil is leaking and um, if you touch it it's very very hard you can't even move it so the oil is finding a way around it outside so that is our problem I'm gonna go ahead and um, get a new o-ring so I can replace it and um, our problem will be solved so if you have a Mercedes with a table um, and you got an oil leak coming from around the turbo area look out for this it could be your turbo oil line that is leaking because the gasket sometimes get weak and they start leaking so make sure you look out for the oil ring from the oil line and um, maybe it might be of help you know so let's get a new oil ring replace it and problem solved great okay so here we are i've got my new o-rings i got two just in case because you never know and um i had to get this from the dealer i tried getting one from the uh regular stores but um it didn't work out so i had to get this from the dealer because this is the the right fit if you don't get the right o-ring it's still gonna leak so i've got my o-rings two of them and i'm gonna install it on the oil line then i'll put it back on the on the turbo and the cylinder head so um hopefully this is gonna solve our problem so let's go ahead and install it and see what happens Okay, so now I've got the oil line installed. As you can see, I've got the new O-ring in there. That is it right there. So it's all installed. And the one that goes on the turbo is also tightened up. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna clean all the oil around the leaking area that I know there is uh, no oil around there. Then um, I'm gonna connect to the coolant hose and the vacuum hose and start the car just to look out for any oil leaks. Then um, I can put everything back together. So I'm gonna just do that, you know? I just wanna be sure, cause I don't wanna put everything back together and then there will be a leakage. So I think that's gonna help me. So let's, um, let's do this.
okay so um now i've got all the coolant line and uh vacuum line in place so i'm gonna go ahead and start the car and check out for any oil leak i know it's gonna be good so um i have my brother in the car he's gonna start it right now right now okay i start it Let it run for about five minutes just to be sure that there is no oil in it. But this is where the oil was coming from. So now I'm gonna leave it running for like five minutes, you know, before I finally put everything back together. So let's um, let it run. Okay, so now it's been more than five minutes. It's almost ten minutes now. Now uh, it's still dry, so that's a good news. Before the oil was leaking so bad, seriously, it was dripping like crazy. But now it's all set. You see, it's still dry. So that means the job is successful. So what I'm gonna do next? I'm gonna shut the car off and um, put everything back together in place the right way then um, the job is done so if you have a Mercedes 2.0 turbo and you have an oil leak like major oil leak look out for this guy the oil line that goes from the table to the cylinder head it could be the o-ring just like mine don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel I'll see you in my next video. Peace.